a story that I do not want to comment on because I don't know how to comment on it. I really, I don't know. I have almost nothing left to say about Chrissy Teigen. I thought we put her in a box and we sent her off and that really she should have had her social media accounts taken from her after we uh, unpacked her extensive need to tell teenagers to kill themselves. Chrissy Teigen, you can't talk about a death call without bringing up Chrissy Teigen. Uh, she loves suicide, preferably telling people that they should be committing suicide and still has never apologized to any of those then teenagers involved because why should she have to? She's Chrissy Teigen. She's the wife of John Legend. She's a Hollywood A-lister. You can sort of see now that the public is trying to, her PR team must be great. They're trying to reintroduce us and make us forget that she's a total psychopath. She is actually a psychopath. Um, And they... Uh, for whatever reason, feel compelled to keep themselves in the media politically by just making extreme comments, right? So Chrissy Teigen, if you did not know, and I'm going to say this now because at the time it felt inappropriate, obviously she suffered a miscarriage. Uh, It was, I think, about a year ago. I could be wrong. And we know that she suffered a miscarriage because they posted videos. They named the son Jack. She was in the hospital. They were trying to rescue his life. And eventually she had a miscarriage, according to Chrissy Teigen, right? She posted these extraordinary photos. And I do want to show you some of these photos because at the time, despite the fact that as a mother, you felt so bad if you were like me, I saw these photos and I said, you know what? It's a little weird that these photos were taken. I'm going to be honest. I know that you guys felt that way. She took these, you know, photos in the hospital right after having lost her son, of her crying, of her praying, of her and John Legend um, sitting. Let's take a look at some of these photos. Here's one uh, as just one example. She is, yeah, sitting on the bed in the hospital and she's crying. It's a very sad photo, but it begs the question, who took the photo, right? Like who actually, after they lose their child, who would be so invasive as to take their phone out or take a camera out and photograph a woman in this, you know, horrible position, this very sad position. But then there's another photo. Here's another one of her and John Legend. And he goes, okay, if if John Legend didn't take that photo of her initially, who was the third person that was in this hospital during the time of COVID lockdowns, by the way, when people were not even allowed to have their husbands in there when they were giving birth, who could be so invasive as to take a photo of the both of them in this moment, this very vulnerable moment, right? We were all thinking it at the time, but again, this was a topic regarding miscarriage. We just went, whatever. I, I personally think Chrissy Teigen is addicted to social media. She's addicted to getting attention. And I thought that this was evidence of that. And I also felt, and I'm going to say it now because it feels like it's okay to say it now, that it was a PR strategy, right? If there was a firestorm about how disgusting and horrible of a person that she had been online to so many people, and then suddenly she pops up, she's pregnant, and then she loses her child. And rather than announcing that they lost their child, uh, they put these very graphic photos on the internet. And once again, the press then says, oh, forget all the suicide stuff that she, she's so brave. Look at her. She's photographing herself going through a miscarriage. We love her again, right? Wrong, okay? This is what I was thinking during the time. I didn't say it. But recently, Chrissy Teigen, I guess, who just cannot get enough social media, decided that she wanted to unearth that scenario and get more attention from it, from it, right? So she initially said it was a miscarriage. She now says that the loss of her son, Jack, was the result of a life-saving termination. It actually wasn't a miscarriage. She said he had no chance of survival, so that they opted into getting an abortion. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> are, you, are you kidding? You, you can just update that? So, so you had the entire world mourning with you. You released these photos to the public and you said, I had a miscarriage of you crying in a hospital, right? And the world came to your aid and said, we're so sorry, you're so brave for posting these photos. But now you find it to be politically expedient to say that it was an abortion instead. Here's the quote she gave. She actually said this, quote, let's just call it what it was. It was an abortion, an abortion to save my life for a baby that had absolutely no chance. She also said that it was because of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade that prompted her to reconsider how she spoke about her experience. After telling her husband, John Legend, that she sympathized with people who have had an abortion, he helped her to understand that her own experience was actually an abortion. Oh, okay. So you just decided to reconsider 
a miscarriage and to categorize it as an abortion, you sat down and said, oh, how can we get more attention? Because taking photos of ourselves going through this thing that should be incredibly personal between you and your husband, having some third party person capture it and then quickly putting it on Instagram for likes and then having your PR agent get you a bunch of applause throughout the media. Applause. Oh, she's so brave. So it wasn't enough, right? Now everyone's arguing about abortion. You think you can insert yourself into this because you're a sick, mentally ill individual, okay? Chrissy Teigen is mentally ill. There is no question about this, right? If you want to talk about what social media causes, the issues that it causes, the mental illness that it causes, we should be examining Chrissy Teigen as a prime example, okay? A prime example, the fact that you would use a dead child for attention, not once, but twice, right? You just said, oh, it's evolved. I'm going to actually metamorphosize this thing that happened to me. I'm going to metamorphosize. First, it was a miscarriage. You felt bad for me. But wouldn't you now think I'm so brave if I then said my miscarriage was instead an abortion? This is what's going on in her sick, twisted, demented little head. And she does it. Oh, I after seeing what the Supreme Court said, I realized that my miscarriage was actually an abortion. Aren't I brave for doing that? No, Chrissy, you're a disturbed individual and you should have your account taken away from you, right? You should have had your accounts taken away from you when you were telling children to kill themselves. But now you literally need to put your phone down. Chrissy Teigen, where she should exist, is in college textbooks, psychology classes, right? When we look back on this era of social media and we talk about the various mental illnesses that it has caused people, we should be able to open a textbook and read about the case of Chrissy Teigen and the John Legend that wouldn't stop her. That's all I have to say about that. Next up, let's talk about Stacey Abrams, because when we talk about the cult of death, of course, we have the politicians that are trying to sell you that death is actually compassionate. And here is what Stacey Abrams had to say about abortion on The View. Do you think there should be any legal limits on abortion, such as the third trimester or viability? I believe that abortion is a medical decision, not a political decision. Thank you. And arbitrary... (laughs) Arbitrary... Arbitrary, politically defined timelines are deeply problematic because they ignore the reality of medical and physiological issues. Mm -hmm. For example, a six-week ban tells women they have to make reproductive choices before they know they're pregnant. Okay, so uh, politically defined timelines are arbitrary. That's what she says, right? And then she proceeds to tell you about how at six weeks women don't know they're pregnant. That's literally something that would be a politically defined timeline. I knew I was pregnant both times before six weeks. They're just saying that. It's just something to say, right? Now they just all decided to agree and lockstep that women don't know they're pregnant in six weeks. That's a completely made up thing. And somehow this six week mirage that they have made up has now transformed into a reason why at nine months, people should still be able to abort their child. This should of course be considered child sacrifice. That's what it is. This should be considered in the same context of what the Aztecs did when they would sacrifice children while they built temples, because that's what it is. You're just sacrificing children. But guys, it's compassionate. Don't you understand? Don't you feel compassion for Stacey Abrams? Don't you feel compassion for the women that are choosing to abort their children at nine months in the womb? Don't you feel compassion for Chrissy Teigen, who had a miscarriage and then magically transformed it into um, an abortion? Don't you, aren't, aren't we all just feeling a little bit compassionate? What about the fat people? Are you feeling compassionate for them? They never get to see themselves on the screen. They, they, they turn on their TVs and they don't get to just see other people that are 400 pounds and 300 pounds and clinically obese and huffing and puffing going up the stairs. Don't you feel compassion for them? That's sad. We need to show more of that on television. Or we could acknowledge the truth, which is that it's a cult of death. All right, guys, the next portion of the show is going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. We are going to expand on these topics. So if you're not a member yet, go ahead and click the link in the description and subscribe right now.